In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your email templates using the Chargent Payments app for Salesforce. My name is Stacy, and I'm from Chargent. Do you want to learn more about Salesforce and payments? If so, we have made a special checklist for you on 10 ways to make Salesforce payments safe, easy, and profitable. Get the link in the description below. In this video, you're going to learn how to send different emails with your payment requests based on whether you're capturing the payment now or if you want to authorize the card now for capture later. Let's jump into this quick how-to. To begin, you're going to need a few things before beginning this video. For one, you will want to have your payment request feature already configured and you will need to have two different email templates built. You'll need one for the full charge amount transaction type and one for the authorization transaction type. To follow along, you can just clone the charge and payment request email template if you'd like. With those items in place, let's go ahead and navigate to the setup area of your Salesforce account. From here, using the quick find search bar, search the word workflow. Click on the workflow rules section to open up your list of workflow rules. Find the rule labeled payment request email and click directly on the name. This is the workflow rule that sends your customers the email containing the payment link. We should deactivate this rule so we don't forget. Click on deactivate. With that deactivated, you'll now want to click on clone. This will copy the workflow rule with its triggering criteria. Cloning makes the process a little easier. Now with this cloned rule, rename it to match the transaction type you want to use. For this video, we'll start by creating the rule for charging the full amount. Set the rule name so there's no confusion and then we will add the new rule criteria. The field you want to look for is labeled payment request transaction type. Select that field and add equals as the operator. Click the magnifying glass and finally select the charge full amount value and then click save and next. Here we're going to add the workflow action. Click the drop down and select new email alert. Add any description that makes sense for you. The unique name will automatically fill in and then click that little magnifying glass next to the email template field. Select the appropriate email template, which for this example is the standard payment request email template. Then change the recipient type from user to email field. With that selected, move the email field email address option from the available column to the selective column. Click save, click done, and then click activate. Just like that, you've configured the first of your email templates. The second one is much easier now with the first one completed. With that activated, we'll click on clone again. From here, change the rule name to match the transaction type. We just change the name from charge full amount to authorize full amount. After that, go to the rule criteria and simply change the charge full amount value to the authorized full amount value. Click Save and Next, and we'll add our workflow action again. Select New Email Alert and your description, and click that magnifying glass again. This time, select the template you want to send to customers whom you'll be authorizing their card rather than charging immediately. Change the recipient type from User to Email field. Move the Available value into the Selected column and click Done. Now just activate the rule, and you're ready to go. With this configured, if you select either the charge full amount option or the authorize full amount option in Chargent's payment request feature, you'll send the appropriate email template to your customer to avoid any confusion. And now check out this next video. My name is Stacy, and at Chargent, we're dedicated to helping Salesforce customers and people like you keep your payments simple. And remember, we're always here to help.